welcome to the 5 Minute Flower Challenge. As you know, we're about to dive into 5 weeks of easy flower projects that you can do in your own home. Each week there will be one small project designed to teach you a couple of tips and tricks to arrange beautiful flowers for your home and you'll end up with one gorgeous arrangement to brighten up your space. At Bloombox Co, it's our mission to help women prioritise their joy and make their spaces beautiful with flowers. So that's all this is about, simple, beautiful flowers for your home. So if you've done the challenge before, welcome back. Hopefully they've kicked off a beautiful new creative habit for you. And if it's your first time, this week we're going to cover a really simple arrangement that you can do in your home in just a couple of minutes. You'll need a sharp pair of scissors or flower shears. A garden secateur is also really good for this kind of work. Fresh water. Something to pop your flowers in. Now it doesn't have to be a vase, and this week we're going to use this great little oversized teacup to pop our arrangement into. As an optional, some clear sticky tape, which we will show you how to use in a minute. And of course, your beautiful flowers. So as you can see, we're using a pretty unusual mix of flowers this week, keeping in the seasonal and local theme. So in general, to create a beautifully balanced arrangement, we usually have a feature flower, and this week we're using these incredible disc buds. Some sort of greenery or foliage, and this week we're using this Indian Hawthorn Berry, which is really fun. And finally, something to add a bit of texture and volume. And this week we're using these amazing deep red leaf dendrons. Now our next step is to get all of the flower preparation done before we start arranging. It's much easier to do this at the beginning. And all that means is that you're trying to remove all of the leaves that might fall below the waterline. Any leaves under the water can actually cause bacteria growth. So it's as easy as simply pulling off any of the lower leaves. Or if you're not a fan of that, you can just use your clippers to cut them off. Like that. Now I usually like to keep just a couple of the leaves around the top for a little bit of added interest. For these ones, it's as easy as just pinching and squeezing and pulling off all the leaves as you go. Now, to kick things off, because this teacup has got such a big mouth to it, we're actually going to pop a couple of pieces of sticky tape across the top to provide a little bit of support for the flowers and foliage when they go in. And to make sure that's really secure, I'm just going to put one piece of tape all around the edge. Now you can't do it without the sticky tape, of course, but it does give you that extra little bit of support for the stems. Next up, we're going to fill that up with fresh water. It's always easier to put water in first than after you've done the arrangement. So I've filled that up to about halfway to two thirds full. It's always nice to start out with your greenery first because that provides the shape and the general structure for your arrangement. You just want to snip the ends of your greenery just before they go into the water. And that way you've got a really nice fresh surface of your stem to start drinking up some water. So I'm just pushing the stems through the holes in the sticky tape grid. So that's the foliage done. As you can see, it's already got quite a nice shape to it. And we're just gonna pop our flowers in and fill them out. So next, you pop in your focal flowers and they're really the focal point of your whole arrangement. So you want to keep them nice and low and close to the centre. Now you don't want anything too evenly spaced so we're going to make this second chrysanthemum a little bit taller than the first. So we're basically done. All we need to do now is fill in the gaps with our beautiful red dendrons. pop one right at the front to fill in this little gap here and add a little bit of extra texture. If you happen to have any leftover little bits of flowers or greenery, you can just tuck them in wherever there's a bit of a gap. To 
So that's it. A beautiful, simple, rustic arrangement to light up your dining room table or anywhere in your home that you think needs a bit of colour. Really simple techniques. Start with foliage first, focal flowers and fill in with a little bit of textural filler. I hope you love the first week of 5 Minute Flower Challenge. We can't wait to see what you get up to. Don't forget to jump onto the Flower Squad Facebook group or on Instagram and share your project. Stay tuned for next week. We've got a very different project in store for you. And the team at Bloombox Code and myself. Thanks and see you next week.